Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Saturday. And I'm not dead. Um, guys, I'm still, to my YouTube people especially, um, still, my, Angie is finally back from vacation, my new assistant, my wonderful goddess. Um, I'm still trying to figure out, and I would love to hear from you, the people that have been watching me just on YouTube uh, for a while. I'm still trying to figure out what's the happy media makes the most sense. Um, for me and creating videos. As you know, I uploaded one of my Periscope sessions, um, which was 45 minutes, because Periscope sessions, well, most of mine now are half an hour because I'm focused on the time, um, and I go from 7 to 7.30 in the morning. Certainly, I hope you'll follow me over there and join. Um, great way to meet new friends and find new people that you can uh, potentially tune into. And it's more interactive. It's live. I mean, you guys know when I upload my videos, it's usually sometimes I'm making them live accidentally three or four days later. Um, but I'm having a challenge because of all of the content I'm, I'm creating and where I'm publishing it, if it's duplicitous for me to do Periscope videos, videos on YouTube, you know, and blog content and so on and so forth. So I'll probably test a few things out. My gut is telling me that Periscope videos are too long for people on YouTube to watch, but then I do get my Periscope followers. Sorry, I just finished my workout and this is why I want to come out and shoot this video. Um, I do get my Periscope followers that maybe they miss. I'll talk about this in a second, my new weight belt. Um, I do get my Periscope followers going, oh, you know, I missed your scope and it's, it's no longer um, live. Can you upload them to YouTube? Maybe I'll create a separate channel for Periscope. So I would love to hear from you that typically watch me on YouTube and maybe you don't watch me on Periscope. You know, would you watch those? Do, is it confusing for me to in intermingle those? Let me know. Because what I do know is that when I do shoot videos and now that Angie is back from vacation, I will, uh, we've worked out a content calendar for the rest of this year and really for the first three to six months of next year. Never in my whole blogging life have I ever done that. I'm so excited. Um, but that's going to segue right into the topic of this video today. And I just finished my workout. I had a little bit of a disappointing week for myself as far as what I had mapped out, which of course I never used to do this either, you guys. What I had mapped out with what I plan to do for my workouts and what I actually completed. But as I'm putting in the title of this blog, or excuse me, this video, which I hope I title it the way I'm saying it, um, good habits, when you guys add new good habits, they tend to, and, and more so I think when you focus on adding new habits, there's many books out there on this topic, whatever. When you focus on adding the new, and adding the good versus obsessing over what you're, for example, cutting out in your diet or what you're not going to do anymore, what you're telling yourself you're not allowed to do. Good habits naturally are like rabbits. They reproduce. They start to build. It, they're like dollars in the bank. I could use a billion different metaphors here, but they. I'm starting to really see it pay off in my life, in my body, in my health, in the time that I have during the day, um, in my attitude, in my state of well-being. Um, I've done a lot of hard work on myself, guys. Um, productivity, you know, analyzing focus, areas I could improve, getting my social life back again, all of these things. Um, and by the way, because you'll ask, this is that um, old <sighs> Reebok shirt. I don't think they sell this anymore, but head over to Reebok.com and check that out. This hat I get at Walmart. I get a ton of great hats at Walmart. I'm answering this because every time I put up a video, people are asking me. I also try to, when I know you can buy it, I'll put stuff in the link. And then also on my blog, kellyalexa.com, I'm going to be creating product pages for links to things that people regularly ask me about so that you don't have to go through my videos, search for something, go to my blog, search for something. Mr. Flo, you probably can't see this as much in here. There you go. Um, so, good habits, when you focus on them, this is going to be a short blog, we're going to do it. When you focus on adding good habits, they will start to naturally, probably when you're not paying attention, if you focus on that being one of your good habits, which is one of the things I'm doing, you know, I'm, I'm no longer, I'm focusing on my activity, on doing fun things like planning out my workouts, on uh, adding challenges to my to my month, you know, giving myself a challenge of, hey, every workout's gonna be different and, and making sure I focus on doing what I hate. You guys have seen that in my last videos. 
I'm focusing on putting my mind and my brain on those things. Now granted, what I'm avoiding, but that's not what I get up every day and track. I'm avoiding picking myself apart in the mirror. I'm avoiding taking my measurements and weighing myself every day. I'm avoiding doing what I was doing, which was taking uh, progress pictures every single day. Because then I was unreasonably expecting to see, you know, like the fat over the bra. Right, ladies? How many of us hate that? I still have it left over, but it's gone down so much. But I would look in the rear of a mirror and take my rear picture every day and go, oh, it's still there. And it would just, it, it, that was my focus. And that's a bad focus. Now I'm focused on how much stronger I am. You know what else is a, a great focus? When I'm doing this stuff and I'm not picking myself apart in the mirror, you guys, and I'm focusing on doing what I hate, lifting heavier, all the things like that are about the process and the activity, guess what? I went to go put this on today because it was leg day and I use this from Harbinger uh, for support. Um, hold on, I don't know where the name is, but I've been loving them forever. Um, and hashtag client, they have uh, been a client of Fitfluential, my company. Um, I put this belt on and I remember, I don't know, earlier in the year, actually when I was out in Arizona, Whitney, this was before I started the bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment, she put a weight belt on me. When you put a weight belt on, you know, you don't put it on to look good. You put it on to support your back and you have to yank it really tight. And I remember that there was fat hanging over the top that, and we were, it was just Whitney and I alone. She has a private training gym, which is wonderful. And, and that, that fat in my hips below the belt, I, I told her, I said, it is taking all I can right now to hold myself up and not cry and not be so upset because I'm seeing the fat and I could feel it. I could feel it above the belt, I could feel it below the belt. Guess what, you guys? I put this, this on today and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe the difference of how there isn't that huge fat overload. I still haven't reached my fat loss goals, guys, but there's progress because I've changed my mindset. I've changed my habits. I've changed what I focus on. I started treating myself better. And what I'm telling you, all of these things, it doesn't happen overnight, but when you start making these changes, not only are the changes in and of themselves good, but they start to pay off in ways you won't expect down the road. For example, I'm gonna be under 10 minutes. Today, um, I shared with you guys, this was my plan for the week, and what happened is, um, uh, what happened, it was really pretty much like Wednesday night, and then Thursday, Friday, and up until this morning. That's when the, my week kind of got very chaotic. We were up in Milwaukee all day on a trip to meet with clients on Wednesday. I didn't get home till 10 o'clock. I felt very tired, very car sick, very stressed out. My skin was kind of breaking out and a rash and some bumps, and that freaked me out even more, but I went to bed, got up, slept in a little bit. We had a client, um, or kind of some kind of an issue. I don't remember what it was on Thursday. We had storms that were really bad in Chicago. My power was out, my Comcast was out, my phone was out. It was just a crazy day and I had bad headaches. Again, this is how stress starts to take its toll on your body, guys. Headaches, skin problems. I scheduled a massage. I missed my workout on Thursday and I chose to because I was so stressed and I had such a headache that I could barely move. And I chose to say, okay, I'm going to lay down on the couch take a nap because I need to rest and I'm going to go get a massage and although I'm disappointed that I'm missing my workout, that was the choice that I felt I needed to make for my health. Um, I still had that mental thing of you're not going to reach your goals, you're not going to be as consistent as you want, I'll be with you in a minute. And then Friday we had to, again, I got to sleep, oh, then Thursday night I had a meeting with uh, some clients in Singapore, I didn't go to Singapore, but I had to be up late dealing with that and so then I got to bed late again. Um, then I got up on Friday, we had a Fitfluential lunch meeting, so you know that was driving all the way over to like Schaumburg area and coming all the way back. Um, and it was just kind of a long day all, towards the end of the week and I felt like it was nonstop. There's other things in there that I'm not even remembering, but I was just busy nonstop and feeling like I had one of those weeks where the end of the week was running me, I wasn't running my week. And here's the difference, guys. I went to go do my workout this morning and I'm looking at what I planned for myself and what I had accomplished. And the old Kelly, 
I can tell you this, the old me, if I had had this level of, oh, you know, I miss doing that butt workout, that additional, I gave myself like, I'm doing this um, Ashley Horner workout, sweet cakes, three times a week. And I'm like, I didn't do it on Wednesday. I said I was gonna do that and I didn't do this. And, and now the, you know, my plan, I had to change it. You can see I crossed certain things out and I didn't get the things done that I wanted. But guess what, two things. Darn it, I'm over 10 minutes, I'm almost done two things and this is how your good habits start to pay off and you'll be so surprised number one even at my messing up week my messing up week is still three times better than what i was doing a year ago a year ago i should pull up my calendar i hope i saved that from a year ago you know i probably looked and it was all cardio and i would have been disappointed because there was no weight training and there was a lack of consistency even at my worst, when I'm frustrated with myself, because I've changed my habits, because I'm sticking with it, because I do workouts, even when I'm down or I'm frustrated or I know earlier in the week I've dropped the ball, when I have now changed my mindset and I have consistency, weight training is not, it's not even a, a question anymore. Um, I lift heavy, I, I do the workout whether I'm tired or, or whatever gets in the way. Because I've changed that, now I can look at this and go, okay, I'm disappointed, but guess what? I'm so much better already that it's okay. And now, the other thing too, is old Kelly, if I would have gotten to a week like this, and it's Saturday, so I always view my weeks as starting on Monday through Sunday. Um, sometimes, I'm trying to think, sometimes I go in phases where I look at Sunday through Saturday. But it's kind of the end of the week, right? And Sundays I usually do bar workouts and yoga. Um, but usually if this would have happened, I would have gotten to Saturday. I always let myself sleep in on Saturday, so I slept in until 8 o'clock this morning. Um, but I slept in, and typically if this would have happened, I would have found a way to go, you know what, maybe I'll take today off. Maybe I'll just go have breakfast with Laura, and we'll go out, and I'll just give myself a break today. And it's funny, because in your brain, you want to reach your goals. You don't want to not work out, but it's just very easy to fall into old habits and that's what I used to do. I used to think that everything had to be exactly as planned, everything had to be perfect, and if it wasn't perfect, you might as well wipe out everything. That's not the way I function anymore. And so today, I got up and even though I was disappointed in myself, it's funny because it wasn't even a question. I'm like, slept in, that's okay. Maybe I'm not doing my workout at 7 a.m. or at 5 p.m. like I'm planning it during the week but I'm gonna do my workout, I'm gonna get my sweat fest in, and I'm gonna feel amazing afterwards. So I went in there, I did some, um, I did running first, I think. Um, I did a killer leg workout. I did this, another one of my workouts that I had in my um, arsenal and hadn't touched. This was killer. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see I posted a new ver favorite version, excuse me, of deadlifts. So I kicked butt, I was rewarded by putting my weight belt on and going, Oh my gosh. And you guys, just to test it, I put it back on and I, I squeeze it even tighter to see if like I can, <laughs> it's going to sound funny, to see if I could squeeze it tighter and like maybe mush out some more fat. But no, I've lost that much fat. And that shows you, I'm so glad and proud of myself that I stuck with it. I'm still not there yet, but I have stuck with it and I'm seeing progress because I've been sticking with it even when I felt like I'd started all this bioidentical treatment and it hadn't, you know, paid off yet. Two, maybe two and two and a half months into it, I didn't feel like I was losing fat around my core. I was, I was losing it everywhere else, but I was ready to throw in the towel. And luckily, I surround myself with people that keep me accountable. I'm accountable to you guys, so I didn't give up. I knew I wasn't supposed to give up, but I stayed the course and now it's paying off. Um, and so many of you guys, so many of you women that are writing to me, we're going to get you help. I, it's exciting for me to see that some of you have already seen my doctor or your own doctor and you're on the path to change. That just makes me so happy. But I just had to come in here and shoot this video, guys. Good habits, focus on the good. They will pay off. They will naturally kind of push away the bad habits. They will empower you and they will make room for good results in the future. I, I promise you, it, it's, it's just, what am I gonna say? Game changer, and it is game day, I believe, even though I rarely sit down and watch football, but um, pretty sure I just learned, this is embarrassing, I went to Ohio State, and my brother-in-law was giving me crap. He's like, you know they were the number one champions last year, right? And I'm like, in what, baseball? So <laughs> I think they're playing uh, today, so I should go be aware of that. I'm working on it, I just don't, I don't, 
I don't have time. I love football. I love sports. I just don't make time to watch it. If I'm going to make time to watch something, let's get real. Don't hate on me. It's probably going to be HGTV or a Terminator movie or um, I'm going to go shopping. So I got to go. All of a sudden the sun disappeared. You guys have a great day. At least I made it under 15 minutes.